1985, before he became a famous comedian, Jim Carrey wrote himself a $10 million check for acting services rendered, dated it 10 years in the future, and kept it in his wallet. Exactly 10 years later, Carrey found out that he was cast in the movie Dumb and Dumber for, guess how much? You guessed it, a whopping $10 million. <laughs> in Sarah Yosef's book, It's All in Your Mind, she shared that the very essence of mankind is bound up with his or her imagination. In other words, the ability to see a potential reality in your mind. In fact, the Hebrew words for man, which is Adam, and imagination, which is Dimyon, share the same root. And for anyone who knows the mystical powers of the Hebrew language, words that share roots have a significant lesson to teach us about the connection between those words. This means that imagination and being human are profoundly connected. In fact, a person's ability to actualize his potential is entangled with how much control he exercises over his imagination. In fact, I used this wisdom the last few days with my one-year-old. Last week, he was extra fussy and wanted to nurse multiple times in one hour, which starts to get exhausting after a while. Friday night, I almost had a breakdown. I was so spent physically and emotionally. I almost forgot that I have these tools in my back pocket to use whenever life gets overwhelming. So come Saturday morning, before Aviel woke up from his first nap, I spent a few minutes imagining that he would wake up happy, playful, and not needing to nurse every few minutes. To my not-so-big surprise, he woke up in the best mood ever and was the most independent he'd ever been. It's been a miraculous shift ever since, really. Chazal teach us that every single one of us has a tselem elokim, or a particle of God inside us. And God, as we know, is the ultimate creator. A human's inner world, in other words, the world of our mind, is a miniature world because we are meant to partner with God in the creation of the greater world. We are taught that by using the power of our mind, we can in fact co-create realities. With your imagination, you can change the circumstances in your life to go from bad to good or if used improperly, from good to bad. Whatever thoughts you choose to fill your mind with is what will ultimately become reality in your life. This is the Torah's secret to manifesting your reality in order to create a life beyond your wildest imagination. You've just got to see it in your mind to manifest it in your life. What are you doing to imagine today? Let me know. And sharing is caring, so if, what you, if you liked what you heard, pay it forward. And as always, happy manifesting.